let's take a look at the most common groups of probiotics. So okay. what are they, Amy? So, you know, when you're thinking about probiotics, there they're showing just three different ones. There's so many. Remember I said you start at birth and starting to create these organisms growing in us. So what I would tell you is just keep in mind there's different strains even within all of those probiotics. And that's the key message. It's not just that you have one group of probiotics, it's all the different strains. And that's what they're now studying and this is why it's become so trending because we've seen this relationship. So I'm gonna give you just a quick example. Okay. When, you, when I said that the probiotics need food, if they don't have food, they actually start to eat away the mucosal lining of your gut, of your stomach. So again, that's not a good thing. It needs to be there in order to protect against pathogens from coming in. So again, keep in mind, we have to feed them okay. in order for them to continue to be able to do what they need to do, which is fight off and not allow for these invaders to come in right. and make us sick. Okay, so what am I feeding them? <laughs> yeah, prebiotics, I started okay. to mention, I showed you two. It's the banana, it's the asparagus, it would be something like garlic as well, onions, leeks, beans, certain whole grains have it as well. So guess what? We're probably doing it. What I would call to attention to people is just keep in mind that sometimes we eat what is called a standard Americanized diet. And unfortunately, it has the acronym SAD. Sad. And we're not eating healthy. We're not eating balanced. We're not getting that variety that we talked about. Remember I mentioned dandelion greens earlier? Mm -hmm. They're a prebiotic. Guess what? It's mm -hmm. that non fermented food that is gonna help feed my probiotics. So I think that's why they're kind of trending right now. Okay. Um, because we need both working together. Um, again, a prebiotic feeds the probiotic. And again, if the probiotics have food, they're able to do what we need them to do.